in a very different place today. I'm literally on the other side of the world. Uh, this is a roof. Hi guys, my name is Christy. This is my YouTube channel. Welcome. <laughs> so today I will be... So today we will be reviewing Hamilton on the West End in London. If you're here for criticism, you're in the wrong place. I first listened to my shot from Hamilton when I was 15 and I was at a stage in my life where I didn't want to listen to rap. <laughs> so I didn't give the rest of the musical a go until last year. So that was, there was three years in between that that I could have been listening to Hamilton and I didn't. But one of my friends finally convinced me and uh, I haven't, yeah, I'm obsessed. <clears throat> So on Tuesday the 17th of December I saw Hamilton in London with my mum, my sister and our family friend. And our family friend treated us to second row, which was just a bit good. <laughs> so there was four of us, so I was four seats off centre. So today I will be talking about things that happened in the show that I wasn't expecting to happen. And things that I just really enjoyed, which was the my target audience for this video are people who have listened to Hamilton and would know what's going on because I'll just be so I had quite an idea as to what to expect from the show because <laughs> I've seen it before but in saying that honestly it was Still like seeing it for the first time and listening to it for the first time. Well, side note, um, I was playing charades with my sister the other night and her word was Hamilton and I had to hum something from it. Instead of doing bum, 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 bum. I went for <laughs> That is a backing vocal of a song that isn't even one of the main ones. Anyway, she got it, so it was fine. <laughs> to make it easier on you guys, I will be saying the characters' names rather than the actors' names for most of it, so you know who I'm talking about. Alexander Hamilton. Also, also there's going to be a lot of singing and rapping and dancing in this video, and, and I, I apologise for that. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Hearing that sound for the first time in the theatre... Oh. Burr. I knew that Burr was great from his first line. Just the way that he pronounced his words, I was like, mm, you boy. Lawrence. Is that a tear? Yes, it is. <laughs> if you know me, then you'll know that John Lawrence is my favourite person in history. This was Ashley's debut performance in the John Lawrence and Philip Hamilton track. I didn't know this until the very end, but oh my god, he was amazing. <laughs> So, so Burr's standing in the line clicking and Lawrence walks on for his first, literally first line of this track ever and Burr smiles at him and I was like, mm, look at that hair. That's my hair. Such cool hair. Hercules Mulligan. Can I just say that I love that clicking line when they're all standing in diagonal lines clicking and then Mulligan walks along them. It's just cool. Alexander freaking Hamilton. I didn't even register that he was gonna show up on stage at any point during this musical and then he was just there and he was like Alexander Hamilton and I was like you're gorgeous I was already in love with him at this point Carl Ham Beth Ham Eliza amazing flawless already waiting for burn George Washington that's George Washington on stage ensemble I love you please everyone marry me thank you Every time that the ensemble joined in on the words that Burr was saying, I was just blown away. It was so loud and just like... <gasps> so when Burr said, in New York you can be a new man, I cried. And I didn't stop. When Lawrence passes Ham the bag and he takes it and the eye contact lands, I see you. The just you wait note. Okay, so when they're all standing in the line, when they say time, I think they call it the timeline, which is funny, and they all look up. <laughs> I felt really silly crying in the opening number of Hamilton, where everyone else is just like, this is cool, and I'm sitting there like, 
the choreography. Oh, I'm dancing in this song. Look like you're pulling a ship choreography. I love it. Mom said that she was disappointed that you find out that Burr is the one that kills him in the first song. Like I haven't been talking about it for years. Like I didn't choreograph my whole VC dance performance on that fact. Shot him, shot him, shot him. B -b 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 -mm. 1776. This song is iconic in my house. It's the one that I perform with my dog. Hamilton's so little. He's like, you really believe that he's 19 in this song. Burr, you sly devil. You punched the burr, sir. Yes! I really, really love the contrast of their relationship in this scene compared with the rest of the show. It was very much like Hamilton was so desperate to get Burr's attention and for him to you know, take him seriously. And Burr's just there reading his book like, who the fuck is this kid? It was also like, I'll answer your question. And now I'm going, you're following me. <laughs> oh, can I buy you a drink so you'll piss off? Talk less, smile more. John Lawrence, I love you. The beatboxing with the hands like smacking on the table. Come again. The four sets of corset. And while all this is happening with like the, the boys, Burr and Hamilton are standing like near them. And they look like they're having a great time. And you're like, this guy's not gonna kill this guy. What are you talking about? I love that the freaking beatboxing stops when Burr starts rapping and then it starts up again when Lawrence raps. <laughs> they really capture how different Burr is to the rest of them, like personality wise and morals and cool factor. <laughs> My shot. Hamilton, show me what you're made of. I'm ready. I wasn't ready. He was so proficient with every single word he said. I was like, I didn't know they were the lyrics. Britain keeps shitting on us endlessly. I laughed, and then I remembered I was in a room full of British people who weren't laughing. <laughs> he says in parentheses, a funny line that is underrated. And everyone's just looking at him like, who, who are you? And Lawrence is sitting there, his head down, and then he goes, ma, shut, yeah, this guy's actually saying some good things right now, and I love him, but yet yeah, his face was so like, I specifically am not throwing away my shot. And his mates are all looking at him like, Aww. when they all join in the chorus and they're all standing in like a box shape and they're all doing the jazz hands. <laughs> I love it. I say, I say, oh, anarchy. Have I ever mentioned that I love John Lawrence and all of his morals? So Burr walks over with the shots, bringing the goods, but also bringing the mood down. They take a shot on the word shot synchronize putting the cups down on the table lambs lynn says it oh am i talking too loud very much like oh <laughs> and that didn't happen here <laughs> he was like so he looks at the audience and he goes oh am i talking too loud with attitude i love it, it was it was so good i sung along because lawrence told me to there's a girl that they all lift up and then she falls back onto people and it was just, mm, I was like, mm, that's not in the bootleg. <laughs> Every time that the entire ensemble sung along as well, I cried. So they all make a circle in the center of the stage in the part that Ham's kind of off to the side and doing his little emo part. And in that circle, they all pause. And then like halfway through the little monologue part, Hercules starts moving. And then the next dancer starts moving and they're just all... Also, remember this part for later. Because it comes back and I wasn't expecting it and I cried. I will mention that I do know the choreography of this part. And I'm proud of myself because I learnt it. I'm not going to tell you how I learnt it because it's illegal. Shit, I'm only literally two songs in. So sometime last year, I told my sister that there is a part in my shot that I wish was sung differently to how it is. For the first time, I'm thinking past tomorrow. Like, he kind of yells it, but not really. And I feel like he should just get up and up and up until he's actually yelling. Thank you, Carl, for yelling it. <laughs> and my sister turned to me, she was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it might have been one of my favorite parts of the show. 
this the choreography of the end of my shot is just stunning everyone's doing something different and so technical and it's like then they all come together at the end mulligans jump over everyone oh there's some partner work everyone's arms in those costumes the revolutionary squad high-fiving at the back of the stage and then all strutting forward to do the end position oh my god the sass the transition between my shot and the story of tonight is just so cool. It's just like a slowed down version of the wah, 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 wah. It's cool. And the smile between lambs. Ashley looked so happy and I was so happy. <laughs> okay, the story of tonight is just so lovely. It's the first time that you kind of get to breathe because it's very upbeat. And then this is the first like, <sighs> it's not all rap. <laughs> Four guys just chilling. Lawrence's voice is just so lovely and it really shone through in this scene. How about just sing it again? I won't mind. <laughs> he does sing it again. Uh, lambs not being able to keep their hands off each other. Thank you for this. <laughs> Lafayette takes Ham's drink and he pours it in his own. Skylar's sister. Okay, I think this was the moment that I actually fell in love with Burr, and I didn't think that was possible. The way he just jumped and skipped on that stage, he just seemed so young and vibrant and innocent and not ready to kill Hamilton. Peggy was very accurately the little sister in this scene, she's like bouncing along after her other sisters. <laughs> the boy who dances with the book, great use of the rotation stage as everyone walking around like they're walking around the city. Oh. So at the end of this song, the ensemble, I think it was just a male ensemble, go, hey, 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 like the whole time in the last chorus. And I didn't know that that was a thing. And I was like, I love that the revolutionary squad are in this dance. <laughs> they're just, they're just there. I don't know why, but I was extremely fascinated with something that was happening on the side of the stage. Um, He had a plank of wood and was like lifting it up to someone on the second level and I was just like because <laughs> they were doing it in time to the music and I was like look at these guys <laughs> Farmer Refuted I feel like this is an underrated song and it is amazing arguably my favorite scene in the oh my god tear this dude apart Mulligan was so <laughs> was so like Oh my god, there's a tuna part. He knew he could get Hamilton to do it. And like Alex is just about to go up and then Burr's like, mm -mm. And Seabury like moves his box in front of Hamilton and steps on that and continues to say his part. So Hamilton then steps to the side and Seabury puts the paper in front of him, like so. Puts the paper in front of his face and Hamilton like, <laughs> and says his next line. And then Hamilton bends down and like pretends to wee on him like a dog. Is he in Jersey? Okay, you'll be back started and I was like I completely forgot this was part of Hamilton. Why so sad? His his mouth when he sings, I've drawn a picture. I look at King George as like a gateway drug to Hamilton because he's always everyone's first favourite. He held his note forever and then they all like ran on to into their positions like they were really worried they're like da -da 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 -da. right hand man this is my sister's favorite in the whole show the harmonies with the whole ensemble when they say rise up this is such a fucking dope song so i could see that my sister was watching george washington who was amazing and so i don't blame her but the dancers were on the other side of the stage so i turned to my sister and i'm like watch the dancers watch the dancers the boom of the cannon <laughs> is a lot louder when it's in person. <laughs> There's a part where Washington goes up to each of the ensemble members and one at a time they're like, and then they run away. So when Ham walks in, he properly cut off Burr. <laughs> yes sir, we keep meeting. Hamilton went to shake Burr's hand and Burr ignored him. So after Burr's kicked out of the office, he like hangs around a bit and then he walks off, he's like, Okay, the main thing that you don't get from the Burr flag is that the ensemble literally sit all around the stage during basically every number they're on stage. I am number 45, shut. And it gets louder and louder and louder and he's like, I am not 
from the Wayne Knight shop. I'm actually thrown back into my uh, favourite rap verse in the entire show. <laughs> There's a dancer that like jumps sideways. I'll demonstrate. <laughs> This is also one of my favourite dances in the whole thing.